All right, so I'm going. We're still still enjoying my Christmas spirit in the new year. <laughs> There's 12 cans of them. <laughs> so this one is coconut uh, sombrero. Um, they've made the sombrero lucha one, uh, cinnamon or Mexican style stout. Very nice. Love it. Very good. Very casual. Very everyday. Definitely does start dark and silky. But this is the <clears throat> one with vanilla and coconut added to it. Just give it a little extra oomph. So I am excited to see what this has um, going on. All right, still looking like a more like casual drinking one, not super heavy here, but definitely still dark, definitely still gorgeous. All right, a little boozy. What are we looking at over here? Well, if it doesn't say it on here, it says it on the box. Seven percent. So yeah, it comes off a little boozy, but not a lot. I, I, that's what I was getting. So just wanted to make sure because sometimes it'll, it'll say it's boozy, and I don't know what they do, but I definitely don't smell it or get it. So it's right on the cusp, beautiful. Very vibrant, light, still silky. Just the right amount of coconut and vanilla. What do you think? It's definitely more like spring summery. It's not as heavy. It just has all the darkness and the, the beautiful dark malty toastiness with a nice little catch of coconut and vanilla to just bring it all together and just make it and are very nice. And they are on the beach, so... They kind of nailed it. Let me see. All right, and then there's the clown shoes every time. If I get the good angle. It's gonna always be on there. Mm. A little left over. Definitely very toasty, but then it just fades away and that coconut vanilla combo just sinks in. So, love it, good one. She likes it. Got some more to go. So that was a very simple one because I have had their uh, sombrero stout several times. Always enjoy it. It's definitely good to have, good to mix it up. Um, anyone learning styles or wanting to get into styles, that's a very enjoyable one, very toasty one that can help you out and see where if that's where you're at. So that's why I'm going over that consciously, continuously saying that. Anyone, this whole point is like, if you're not sure, if you're fine, if you're already a beer-loving enthusiast, you just want to see this, you're like, all right, he said it's good, let's go for it, good. Anyone else who's like, what am I looking for? Um, it's going to be a lighter body, still dark, still very smoky, toasty, roasty, like, a, like firewood, but then it has... The subtle sweetness, and then this one has the vanilla and the coconut, which really brighten it up and bring it all together. So I highly recommend that to stop people who have, haven't had it. It's not quite desserty because you'll mess up and get a very sweet, boozy one or one with a lot of flavor. And then that's your line to check compared to everything, and you won't really enjoy the real stouts. Like, honestly, if you're going to dive hard, just do the Rasputin one. Very dark, heavy. Um, even though the body's not super heavy, it comes off very... Uh, almost like you're taking a bite out of charcoal. It's very intense, but some people love that. They cannot get enough of it, and that's like their main one they like. Uh, the sweeter light one, I don't know if it's not dragon. Uh, the more casual stouts, the cis stouts, and then oatmeal stouts, which really bring a whole different spectrum, but they're very neck and neck. It just feels more creamy, more heaviness, but they're still light body, and they still bring all that very toasty richness and smokiness. So, and then it goes from there to peanut butter, coffee, all kinds of stuff barrel age so this is a good starter this is a good cusp so there we go coconut sombrero let's get on to the next one give my drink back so i will enjoy this hopefully enjoy yours and not we'll find something to like to the next one